Welcome. Welcome, everybody, to Technique Tasters with Creative Scrapbookers. This is where we get to share with you oh, some fresh new ideas. Here is a wonderful um, idea. I'm going to show you how to sculpt and make this amazing little truck that not only will make this, that is a beautiful front for this card for my grandson, Max, but I will be showing you later how to incorporate it into a scrapbook page. This, I love, love, love stamps, die cuts, ink that multitask. And so this little truck is not only the die cut of the truck, but it also makes a uh, truck card. So if you want a shape of a card in a truck, this one will make a five by seven truck for you. And it's crazy how many pieces you get with it. Besides the two truck pieces, which it has the base of the truck and all the pieces. Look at all the extra pieces you get in here. Flowers and presents and pumpkins and bows and leaves and a tree. So it's basically a truck for all season. So you can so much value in this particular die cut set. What we're going to do is I'm going to put this card away. Okay, we'll put it off to the side. And you can see that I have, I have cut the base body okay so this piece here i have cut this piece out of some kind of metallic silver card what fun so that was easy and then this piece here is all the pieces so not only is it the base of the body but i'm just gonna bring this over here i have cut it once in silver and i have cut it once in super stock of course so you know, beautiful pieces for creating uh, this truck. And I've, there's one of each on here. So we'll put those aside. Now, to start with, I, because this card, this little guy is my eldest son's child, Adam owns a black Chevy truck. So we're making a black Chevy truck. With that, I am simply going to take your favorite sponge applicator. All right, this is my favorite sponge applicator, and you're going to apply black pigment ink. Now, there's your pigment ink from Sukuniko Versicolor. Guess what it's called? Black. And it has that wonderful open time so that we can apply it to the entire truck. You don't have to panic. It's not going to dry on you. So there you get this beautiful, beautiful black truck. You're going to take just regular clear embossing powder, nothing fancy. And we're going to emboss this for you. So you can see, look, can you see how beautifully that it just grabs that powder? Okay, so perfect, even coverage. I'm going to turn on my heat gun. There you go. You're going to see now what you've got there. And I don't know if you can see it, but first coat is always pebbly, which is really cool in some, in some projects, but I need this shiny. Remember my son's truck is always clean. It's always buffed. It's always shiny. So we want that nice, smooth black coating on the truck. So I'm applying another coat of the uh, pigment ink oops, to my truck and the beautiful part about this because it um, we're applying it to a very sealed surface you could go upstairs and have lunch right now and come down and it would still emboss the pigment ink will not dry on that embossing uh, on that embossed surface so you got tons of time for this and let me tell you, when you realize that, you might even come up with a technique or two. Okay, kind of noticing when you're playing with your rubber stamps and your mediums, what's happening, and then the ideas grow. Let it cool. 
let it cool because if you touch it before it uh, is cool you can leave fingerprints into the embossing and you want that nice shiny there you go it's cool enough already that nice shiny base for your truck you might want to stand up to do this so you can get a bird's eye view you're just going to position this on your metallic gray background of the body of your truck and adhere it now we're going to incorporate the pieces that we have and piece this together we're going to be sculpting the pieces colorizing some pieces and applying them to the card and I'm going to be using my favorite glue that I use for sculpting which is called Yes Glue still available at art stores it is the original Yes Paste and I am going to tell you I'm going to open up this jar and it looks like yes that's a big jar right but this jar is also 20 years old look inside there it never dries up <laughs> you can all I ever do I'll show you a quick little trick on how to keep that fresh here's my jar if I'm gonna put it away I'm going to spray it just a little bit with water and then I'll put the lid on it that keeps it fresh and years and years will go by and you'll still use all that yes glue now we are going to prepare some of these pieces with ink so that we can obviously custom color these pieces and I am going to use pine cone for the tires I'm going to use cardinal or scarlet for the um, the rear light the backlight I am going to use canary for the uh, uh, your front lights, headlights. So now we're going to sculpt. We've got our pieces and of course I'm going to be using my favorite sculpting mat and sculpting tool. And to do that I'm going to put the piece in my hand, take a mister and just just mist it lightly. Do not hose it down. Mist it lightly. Put it on your sculpting mat and sculpt away. And now I'm going to sculpt all the pieces that I am going to do in silver so that it is mimicking chrome. Now that all the pieces have been sculpted, what I'm going to do is I'll show you how I am going to use my Yes Glue that is literally forever old. I take some out with a popsicle stick and my second very necessary tool is a toothpick. So just take out as much as you need and what we're going to do is we'll put the tires on first and what you're going to do is you're going to take the glue apply some to your toothpick and basically you're kind of back rolling it into the center of that curved tile tire now this dries hard rock hard I could go and get you scrapbook pages that I sculpted and put together with yes glue uh, 20 years ago and they are still on their rock solid an extra piece, an extra something that is cool to have is just, of course, a pair of tweezers. And you're going to look at how that does. Like, boom, you have a tire. Now I'm going to apply glue to the rest of the pieces and add them to our truck. There you go. You have a 3 d truck. Oh my goodness, can you see? 
all the depth that this little truck has. Now the other thing that you can do to just add a little more realism, because why not? And I hope I have enough because I may be out. It's one of another one of my favorite products is Nuvo. And it is their crystal drops. And this one, I think it's called Meadow something. It dries clear and gives that shiny look to the headlight and to the tail light. And guess what? Adds another layer of dimension. Oh, what fun. This is one of the cute things about this card is I was able to print out a small picture of my grandson, Max, and incorporate his photo into the cab of the truck. But what I did was I used the pieces for the window of the truck and, of course, for the windshield that is here. And I cut that out of vellum to add just a little more realism. Here are those two pieces. There is the window, and I can't see this one's fainting me. And there is the windshield. So what we're going to do to make it more real is we're going to actually sculpt those edges. So to create that, you're going to take those two vellum pieces and make sure that you put them upside down on your dry embossing mat, which of course is, this is a piece of leather. It is from Ecstasy Crafts. Uh, wonderful people out in Ontario and or you could use a piece of suede works as well and I'm using a dry embossing stylus to create that edge on that window right along the line which is going to help keep those edges turned down because vellum when it is exposed to humidity does have um, the issue of flipping up this way it keeps it down and actually sculpts that window as well so you can see that white line all the way around and you want to do it on the um, windshield this little tiny piece as well old cutting mat very non-stick because it's very old a piece of the Be Creative or Zuckwang tape in that 1 8 inch width. Peel it off and roll it towards you. Now this works on my cutting board because it's very old. So test on your cutting board. You do not want it to stay there forever. And what you're going to do is you are going to run around underneath that white embossed line we created with our um, sculpting tool and you're going to do that on both pieces. So there's one. If you are going to put a photo inside the cab of the truck then you want to just trim away the inside of this window and leave it so that the window is about almost a quarter of an inch somewhere between an eighth and a quarter of an inch thick mimicking the window so there we have it we've created that fabulous truck for this card which just happens to be wait for it <gasps> an explosion card oh so much fun what a great place to combine your scrapbooking tools and your card making tools all in one and guess how much my son and his his loved one wife Lindsay and little Max like this card so there you go Take that truck. Yes, all the other stamps that you see in here are also from Stephanie Bernard. She has a wonderful selection of stamps that you can use. And with just a little bit of finesse, you too can not only have this wonderful over-the-top explosion card that truly is a gift, or ta-da! If we do this idea on a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook uh, paper, yes, 
that truck is the highlight. Well, second highlight. First highlight is Max in all his wonderfulness. Second highlight is that great big truck. He does love his wheels. So happy Technique Tuesday day, guys. I hope you enjoyed that, and we will see you again. Bye for now. <music>